Hello everyone, my name is Pixelated Apollo, and this is a Medieval 2 Total War Battle Replay. This is a 2v2, this is actually a subscriber video by Sir Henry, so thank you Sir Henry for the Battle Replay. And uh, he's playing as Portugal, and a very strong faction. His teammate over here is England, and his name is Matt0331Snake. England not as strong as a faction, but they do have some pretty good infantry and archers. So we'll see them in action, and then the two opponents from the subscriber's point of view. We've got Venice here being played by Loki SD, one two three, and then his teammate is the Holy Roman Empire being played by Sandy seventeen seventy three. So lots of uh, name numbers, but um, let's just go ahead and go over the army comps. We'll start with Sir Henry's army here. We've got one, two, three, four units of Pavi's crossbows. Good standard amount of crossbows. And then he has two units of Aventuras protecting his crossbows. Let's see here. One, two, three, four units of dismounted conquistadors. That's a pretty solid line of infantry. He also brought a lot of cav. So let's see. Knights of Santiago. Let's see one. It looks like he just brought one of those. Yes. And then he has one, two, three, four. Four units of mounted conquistadors. So I assume the money was fairly high. Um, not nothing crazy, but it's probably like around 15k per player. Uh, he went with a lot of cav, one, two, five cav. Which I mean, it's not a ton. It's not like anything out of the ordinary. But he does have a decent amount of cav. So let's check out England. He's got uh, two units of feudal knights, mounted feudal knights over here. Huh? Uh, let's see. His army is very far from his teammate. He's got three units of retinue longbowmen. Very good unit there. Uh, on the both flanks of his longbows, he's got uh, some heavy billmen. Then he has some armored swordsmen in the center here on both flanks. He has some more heavy billmen right in the center behind his archers. Let's see here. One, two... He has two more units of armored swordsmen, so that's about four units of armored swordsmen. And then he has one, two, three, four units of dismounted feudal knights. So that is a very strong infantry force here. Uh, it looks like he's going to use his buildmen to protect his, his archers. Sadly, that's what England is lacking, is pikemen, so... Billmen are okay. I mean, they're, they're meant for taking out calf, but that initial charge is pretty deadly. Um, and then he has more cav in the back here, more mounted feudal knights, so three more units, and then here's his general's bodyguard. And let's check out Venice. Venice has, let's see, one, two, three, four units, very stretched out here of Pavi's crossbows. Then he's got all his infantry lined up, so let's see, he's got one, two, three, actually two units of feudal knights, one, two, three, four, two units of Venetian heavy. Okay, okay, let me redo this. Let me redo this. Sorry, guys. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. He's got five units of feudal knights. And then he has uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five units of Venetian heavy. So he's got five units of dismounted feudal knights, five units of Venetian heavy infantry. That is a strong infantry force there. Uh, and then he's got a nice hosp hospitaller, and he has his general's bodyguard. So he went with a very, very strong, um, very strong infantry line. The thing that he lacks is cav and anti cav units. So if I was England, I would be very aggressive with my calf and get some good charges off. Because he really has no answer for it. Let's check out the Holy Roman. He has three units of Pavi's crossbows. One unit of Pike Militia protecting them. Behind that, he's got some dismounted feudal knights. Four units of dismounted feudal knights. And then he has three units behind them of... Uh, actually, make that three more units of dismounted feudal knights. Let's see, he's got some armored sergeants with his calf. He's got some Teutonic knights, two units. Some feudal, oh man, look at these feudal knights. That is pretty, pretty nice looking feudal knight. A mounted feudal knight there. Um, he's got some 
are more feudal knights. He's got some armored sergeants with his uh, back calf force over here. And lastly, he's got more Teutonic knights. And here's his general's bodyguard. I was kind of disappointed. And I wanted to see some Imperial Knights, but that's okay. Let's just go ahead and press play. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Tis a wonderful day. Oh, yeah. Um, Portugal has a little unit of missile cav here. Today is today, and that makes it a beautiful day. Alright, um, let's see, what's going on, what's going on, it looks like Venice is going to advance forward against England, personally, if I was Venice, I would help the Holy Roman just take on Sir Henry's army, Portugal, because they are very far apart, oh, here we go, he had some hidden cav, that makes sense, okay, he's got some strats, of course, he's Venice, Wow. He's got four units of strads. Okay, well that makes things a lot more challenging for England. A lot more challenging. So England is retreating back his, his cab back to his main force, which is pretty smart. But it looks like they are going to gang up on Portugal, possibly with this cab charge here oh my god look at all these wizards they have like gandalf hats yep he's going to harass portugal because why not his teammates very far away yeah they just charge through the center uh portugal's repositioning his cab his conquistadors and the skirmish has begun Ooh. He needs to be careful here. You don't want to run your cav into uh, into their archer fire. But here's a little charge there from from Strads, and we have another charge over here from some Teutonic knights going into uh, ooh. So he, he put up a little counter charge there, Portugal. But uh, yeah, I don't think they routed that unit. It's hard to kill strads. And then they're rushing up infantry. So, wow, they're giving Sir Henry a lot to micro against. And we have a full-blown cav fight over on Sir Henry's right wing. And we're getting a good flank over here by the Holy Roman. So this is looking really good for uh, Holy Roman. Good teamwork but with Venice as well. And... Uh, it looks like they're just playing defensive over here. England is kind of all over his play, all over the place. He needs to really regroup his army here. Uh, looks like uh, Portugal, Sir Henry, is actually holding pretty strong. Um, his infantry is very elite, so they can take on all this uh, feudal knights. What he really needs to defend against is hammer and anvil strikes and flanks like this behind him. So, if his men get outflanked, it's not going to be too pretty. So, I would recommend running down this units to help to help defend the backs of his infantry. But again, they are taking on some cav, and that was a really good cav charge by his general. Even though his conquistadors are flanked, they are going to put up a great fight. And he's got some units free here to help out. So, and it looks like he's got some con mounted conquistadors. They're going to do some hammer and anvil. Very cool, very cool. So that was much needed hammer and anvil. Let's check out what England is up to. Okay, the infantry has collided. And England has some dismounted feudal knights breaking. Which isn't good. Uh, we've got a lot of cav pushing on this infantry's flank. Which is good. You want to use your cav because he has been... Uh, Venice has been using his cav on his teammate. But he is returning to the battle with some strats. They are winded and they're going to go after these archers. 
and they do cause them to break at least one unit at least yeah this this cab over here is going to clean up these archers which is not good because those archers are fairly expensive and you want to see them uh use up all their ammo but he's putting a good push here uh, if i was england i would recommend uh retreating and doing doing charges charges but it looks like yeah, it looks like England is losing the infantry fight as well. Um, Portugal as well is losing the uh, losing the infantry fight. I think the biggest mistake is their deployment. They're very far away, so it's hard to help each other out. Uh, when you're so far away, but here comes a good charge by Loki SD onto this cab, which causes a mass chain route. Uh, we've got some English uh, English soldiers here trying to take on these Pavi's crossbows, but they are protected. And yeah, that's what uh, caused disaster there. Just uh, the deployment, they were way too far away, so Venice had time to help out his teammate. They double teamed Portugal, Sir Henry, and uh, all Venice did was waited, played more defensive on his front. And England did the smart thing by being aggressive, but he was a little too late to, to the call there. He, if he sent Cav over to help his teammate or something like that, I think it would have been a little bit better. But... Uh, Finally, the day has come where someone sent in a replay of them losing. I respect that a lot, Sir Henry, and I appreciate the replays. It helps me out um, a lot. But yeah, this is just a cleanup phase. And uh, there goes a the general. I'm pretty sure that was the English general. I don't know for sure. Up oh, there is the battle. And we have Sir Henry at 526 kills, Matt at 300, 395, we have Loki at 937, and Sandy at 577. So great game, guys. That was a lot of fun. Uh, that was basically a very aggressive attack by Holy Roman and Venice, and they pulled it off pretty well. So uh, good game to everyone. Strads are hard to beat, so I respect uh, Sir Henry's battle replay here. Uh, of his loss, which is fantastic, and I'll see you guys next time.